Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager 10. It's uh, It's been a little while. Um, I went a bit retro. I caught COVID. Um, but in the meantime, though, I may have developed a problem. So, uh, my problem is this. Uh, in the time that I had a bit of COVID and I just wasn't really feeling like recording anything, I sat down with, uh, you know, knock off Excel, open office calc, and I've gone and plumbed in all of the stats for all of the players on Kristal Saratov, and I can see pretty much all the stats at a glance. Um, I have kind of combined a lot of the goalie stats, things like acceleration and um, I think it's leadership. I've kind of put them into the physical and the mental ratings just for kind of one continuous thing. It's nice and easy to see. So um, yes, it gives me at a glance where my team may, may be underperforming. So for instance, if we have a look at our right defense, we've got a couple of two stars and two and a half stars, but after that it drops off one and a half stars pretty quickly. Um, Kripkov is 28. He is not brilliant. You can pretty much ignore that. They're all on one year contracts. Um, what I've also done is I've got it to basically give me the average based upon what I currently have. So I can see here the average player in left defense is 27. I've got two 29 year olds there. They're above average. The average ability is 2.3. So these guys are below average. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see. Yeah, Kripkov is not looking brilliant. He is quite a bit below average. If we have a look at our right wingers as well, we've got Sheskatov and Mashkov. Both of them, well, I mean, Sheskatov is 34. Both of them aren't brilliant. His physical ratings are trash compared to, well, unfortunately, Nikolaev is, uh, he's kind of bringing that up a little bit, but. Yeah, then they're not doing too brilliant, especially if you start looking at his mentals. If we work our way across, he's got a couple of good offensive things, but across the board, he ain't too good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start using this to ideally find me players that are either the average or better. That's the idea anyway. What I also need to do though, is I need to look for a new defensive coach and a new offensive coach, because both of them are either low or below average. Goalie coach, maybe he's average, he's all right. Skill coach is pretty good and the trainer is very good. So yeah, defensive and offensive coaches. Um, yeah, Sergey and Nikita, uh, yeah, you're on warning. I'm, uh, I'm looking around for replacements. And replace them we have. So in defensive coach now, we have Juha Lane. He is above average for most things. Offensive training, which isn't his strong point and not why I've employed him, he's average. For the offensive coach, we have got, I'm probably mispronouncing this, but Philippe Lucas. He is above average for most things, apart from defensive training, which again, I've not given him the job for. So I think that's a step up in both directions. Um, we just, we need to look for some players now. So as we continue the hunt for the players, we have just had our first game in the VHL against Bars Kazan. Quite, uh, quite a dominating win, I would like to say. Very early on in the first, we managed to get our first. Miga got it with uh, Mesherakyakov. I'm still probably going to butcher these names to death. And then we followed up just towards the end of that first with a 18-minute one from uh, Anisimov. Second period, yeah, not a lot really happened. But we did seal the deal about halfway through with Roman Pisakovic. You know, your mileage may vary on some of these names. But yeah, quite a good very first game in charge here at Crystal. Game two is now in the books. And what I thought was going to be a nice, easy win like the last game didn't really go that way. Uh, Nikolaev got one almost halfway in the first. However, just a couple of minutes later on, they managed to get one back. Roughly the same time in the second, Manning managed to get one. However, a couple of minutes later on, they again managed to get one back. It was pretty back and forth. Sadly, in the third, almost halfway through, 
Nasarov got one. So yeah, we've now won one, lost one in charge. Game three is now out of the way and yikes, that one was one to worry about. 23 second goal from uh, Liam Kin, possibly, followed up by one just after the halfway point of the first period, put us down 2-0 in the first and at that point I was sitting there going oh god we're going to start losing we're going to have losing streak um, however about two thirds of the way through Meshkerakov again probably butchering his name managed to get one back so we were 2-1 down however in the second quite late on we pulled it back we got 2-2 two, two. third oh man that was all us one back quarter of the way through another one two thirds of the way through they did get one back with about 45 seconds on the clock but Morozov managed to get us an empty netter and really put it away 5-3 so I'm not quite sure how to kind of role play into this one because the game itself when we were playing it a few minutes ago never actually told me that uh, Rakalkas was injured so basically I'm going to say that he played on and uh, we've come into the locker room after the game he's been seen by the medical staff they've gone uh, in some sort of Russian accent, which yeah, I'm definitely not going to do on a recording. He's, um, yeah, he's broken his collarbone. Now, uh, he doesn't need one to play, really, does he? Um, yeah, if someone puts an answer in the comments, that'd be lovely. Yeah. Okay. He, uh, he's, not, he's not interested in further negotiations. Now, I'm no master of the English language, but surely further negotiations means that there's been negotiations in the first place. But no, he's, uh, yeah, he's not interested in coming to join us at Russia. Game four was a bit of a nothing game, really. Uh, nothing in the first. We had a penalty in the second. Absolutely nothing in the third. And it went to overtime. Uh, and yeah, they scored. So yeah, not a brilliant game. Kind of a bit of a meh, really. But it is what it is. Okay, yeah, a bit of a flaw in my plan there. In order to get some new players in, we... Uh, we need to have some money. We've only got about 10k in the bank for free transfers. So what I'm actually looking to do instead is shop around some of our, you know, pretty trash players. We've got this guy here, Anatoly Trandin. He's half a star at the moment. He could be three stars, but could just shop him around. I have had a bit of a look and Ilya Talaluyev. Um, Stat-wise, doesn't look too bad. He's two and a half now. He's two and a half. Well, that's all he's ever going to be. So we do lose the potential of 0.5 of a star, but we get basically a star and a half up front. Now, what I've done is I've gone and plumbed him into my stat thing. And yes, he's a little bit above average there, and he's a little bit below average for the right wings. If we have a look at his offensive ratings. He's very good at getting open. He's better than most on the team he has got great puck handling which is not really a problem for our team shooting range it's not too bad and his offensive read it's pretty good it's fairly good at checking it's pretty good at shot blocking these two his face-offs and hitting yeah it's not brilliant it's not bad he might be a decent signing for our team his stick check is pretty good his defensive read is also pretty good as well so I think we are, uh, well, we need to be back a page first of all. And uh, we need to go to shopping. And I think we're going to accept that one. And that's our first trade. With that done, I think I'm going to leave it here for today. Four games into our reign here at Crystal Saratov. We are sitting third in the league, technically joint second. Um, but we're also joint second with uh, five other teams, I think it is. So we literally one lose and we can drop down to about ninth. We've got some good players. Fadimovsky is fourth for goals against. He is also third for save percentage. No one's really set the world on fire with points, uh, but that could be because of our broken collarbone player. I think he's just looking for some time off. But yeah, I think we're going to leave things there. I would love to know what you think of the new format. We've got a brand new intro. There was even some green screening going on that... Uh, I do wonder if anybody even noticed. So yeah, so let me know down in the comments section what you thought and I'll see you guys next time.